Hello everyone, welcome back to another video brought to you by webvidtuts.com. This is video 28 in the HTML training series, and in this video we'll be learning about CSS pseudo classes. The purpose of a pseudo class is to add special effects to some selectors. And a selector is basically a tag or anything that's in that's defined in the style sheet, like the P tag. That would be called a selector. I didn't call it that in the other videos because basically you don't really need to actually call them that. But that's the proper name for it. So that is what a pseudo class does. It just adds special effects to these selectors, as they're called. Selectors is like the term to describe anything that's in here inside of the CSS. Uh, let me just give you like four examples of how to use pseudo classes. All these four examples are going to be for links or the A tag, also known as the anchor tag. I just call it the A tag. It's much more simpler. So what we can do is we can control what the A tag looks like, um, what it looks like when you're hovering over it, what it looks like when you're clicking on it, and what it looks like when you've already visited it. So that's pretty nice, and we can change all of that using pseudo classes. So let's go ahead and start by making a link down here in the body. I'm just going to have href equals, I'm just going to bring it to webthetouch.com. That's a very generic site that I use to use in my tutorials, because I really can't think of anything else. So we have a link here that's going to webthetouch.com. We want the link to say click here to go to webthetouch.com. And we're excited about it, so many exclamation points. And then when we run the page, the links are given the default styling that the browser has for it. So in Internet Explorer, oh, what did I just put? So in Internet Explorer, it's given this kind of like a blue, like a light blue color. If you use any other browser like Firefox, oh, let, me actually, let me do go through here and launch it. I believe Firefox is like a dark blue. Yeah, like a dark blue. And Internet Explorer has this like light blue color. And then Google Chrome has like this same color right here, I think. So we can change that by using pseudo classes. What you have to do is start with the A tag, and then we put a colon right there. And then after that colon, what we want the actual link to look like with uh, when it first appears on the screen. So we had to put link. This allows us to change what the link appears to be uh, to look like, like when you visit a site or something, like before you click on it or anything. It's like a brand new link that you haven't clicked on. And same as all the styles that we make with the put the curly braces. And then we'll change the color to whatever color you want. Let's say I want my links to be red. So now, every A link will be the color red. So now if we open up Internet Explorer, our link is red now, because we defined that right here. But, when you click on the link, let me do this real quick, and then it launches up your site, and you get back to the link, see how it turns into this purple looking color? and then it's not our red anymore, that's the active, or the, not the active, the visited link appearing. So we can change that too by using pseudo classes to what a link looks like that you've already visited. And we can do that by doing the same exact steps we did before. We can put the A tag down, then we put this colon down to define that we're making a pseudo class, or changing a pseudo class. And then after that we have to put visited, Oops, if I can spell it right. And this is saying that if a link has been already visited, then put the styling on here on it. That's basically all it's saying. And then we'll make that color, um, we'll make the color green, using some Christmas colors here. So now every time I visit, I've a link on the site that I visit, after I visited it, and come back to the web page, the link will be green. So if we refresh that, the, pay, uh, the link is green now because we've already visited it and it's not a brand new link anymore. And it's given the styling right here since we changed it in the pseudo classes. 
And let's say we want to change the color of the link as we hover over it. There's also a pseudo class for that. And all we have to do is type in a, the colon again, since we're defining a pseudo class, hover, and then we'll define our styles right here. And let's say, let's say I want the font size to change. Let's just mix it up a little bit. Change it to like 20 pixels. So it's getting pretty big. And if we go ahead and launch that in the Explorer, once we roll over the link, our text gets bigger. That's because we changed the pseudo class hover and the A tag to make the font size bigger when you hover over a link. That's pretty cool. And you can do this with colors, you can do it with font, families, you can practically do it with anything. And now there's one more. Um, it's for changing when you actually click on the link. And that is called active. I said it earlier, but I got them mixed up with visited. So how do we code the active? Well, the same way as the other ones. We just do A and then the colon active and then put our curly braces and then let's say I want the color to be blue once we're clicking on the link. So let's go ahead and test this. As you can see, the link turns blue now because we defined the active pseudo class right there. So every time we click on a link on our site, well, it'll first hover over it, and then once we click it, it'll, or hold in the click actually, and then it'll turn the font color to blue. So that is how you do the active pseudo class right there. And the pseudo classes aren't just for the A tags or the anchor tags. There's many others. Well, there's not a whole lot, but there's there's some more pseudo classes that you can use. But I don't really feel it's necessary to learn them because I have actually never used them before, and I don't really see a massive purpose to use them. And plus, these four are the most important ones because you want your links to look somewhat like your site. You don't want to have let Internet Explorer take control of your links and your site be like black and your links be like pink or something. So you want to control those and not let Internet Explorer take control of them. I mean, you can let Internet Explorer take control of them, but this way is a more customizable way and it allows you to make the links look like the way you want them to on your site. So that's pretty nice that they added pseudo classes in here. And about the other pseudo classes, like I said, I don't think they're as important as these four. I've actually never used them before. But they might be useful, I don't really know. But these are the mainly the four that I use right here. And you can also use these pseudo classes right here, not just on the A tag, but um you can have a, let's say, a button that has an ID of uh, button. And then this will apply to that button also. You can change like the image behind it or something, like we have on WebVidTuts. Like, I, I, I'll uh, show you real quick. Let me go to WebVidTuts real quick. As we can see on the sign up button here, the site's taking a little bit to load. I have a active, or no, not active, a hover on this button right here. And it's not applied to just the A tag, it's actually applied to a I think it's an ID I have on this button. And then once I hover over that button, then it'll put a new background image and it'll change the border of the button. So that's one uh, real world real world way that you can use these pseudo classes and not just the links, but also buttons that you can have on your site. And also with these I have pseudo classes for those also on these navigation bar right here. And here is actually what links will look like. Alright, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys learned a lot about pseudo classes and how you can use them in the real world and not just on the links and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Um, go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel and register as a member on our site at webvidtuts.com. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.